Well, the state house took what was probably its last vote on the civil unions issue today, approving it 31 to 19. As KITV4's Daryl Huff reports, after years of bitter debate, today many spoke of healing and history. There's been a civil union fatigue that set in on both sides. That was kind of how it felt today. There were fewer speeches, but more emotion, like civil unions opponent John Mizuno wiping away tears as he spoke. We are not bigots or haters. I ask that we end all the rhetoric and display restraint and love to everyone. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you very much. Others on both sides remarked on the history of the moment. Let today be the day where we all have that day of being created equally. And let today be that day where we move ever closer to having justice for all. It's basically shaking the institution, whether you like it or not. I don't know how elected leaders who opposed interracial marriage at the time, or civil rights for that matter, or women's suffrage can look at their grandchildren today in the eyes and say that opposing these cornerstones of freedom and equality was the right thing to do. Representative Chris Lee said he was too young to vote on same-sex marriage 12 years ago. One day, I will look my grandchildren in the eye and look forward to telling them that I did the right thing. I vote yes. So did 30 others, supporters celebrating with hugs, not cheers. This shows that hard work and uh, being persistent really does pay off. We've got to continue to work together collectively to coexist together in unity and harmony in spite of uh, our differences. Daryl Huff, KITV4 News, State Capitol. Now the civil unions bill now goes on to the Senate, which will give it one more final vote next week and then send it to the governor for a signature. The effective date when the first civil unions could take place here, January 1st, 2012.